Anthony Volpe has had a lot of ups and downs for the Yankees this season. You know, he was amazing in spring training, hitting the cover off the ball, but then he has been really terrible since then. But on June 12th, there is a story that he was eating chicken parmesan with one of his teammates that he played with in the minors, Austin Wells, and they realized that he was not standing as close to the plate as he used to. So Volpe has started to stand closer to the plate, and he has been amazing ever since. So before he ate that chicken parmesan and was talk and changed his stance, so before June 12th, he hit 186 with a 260 on base percentage, 345 slugging for an OPS of 605. Really bad. But since then, he's hit 373 with a 484 on base percentage, 569 slugging for an OPS over 1,000. He has been amazing ever since he made that change to his stance. And a lot of people have been wondering, is this legit for Volpe? He was so bad to start the season. Now he's on an amazing hot streak. Is this mechanical change that he made to his stance really helping him break out? Is it legit? Is he going to stay this good? And I think there's a lot of data that proves that Anthony Volpe's breakout is legit. First, he's hitting the ball two miles an hour harder than before. That's a big thing. You hit the ball harder, you're going to get more results, better results. And another big thing is that his strikeout percentage is about 6% lower. Volpe's fast. He has wheels. If he just puts the ball in play, he can get on base more. If he can put the ball in play more often while hitting it harder, he's going to do much, much better. And one of the big things that I've noticed from watching is that standing closer to the plate is forced him to really shorten his swing and allow his quick hands <clears throat> to work because he has a very quick swing. <clears throat> he can turn on an inside fastball, but when he's not doing well, his swing gets very loopy and then pitches like a down and away slider just kill him. But because he's standing really close to the plate now, he has to have his hands close to his body, has to force a short swing, and it's allowing him to battle off pitches away. You know, he's staying back on that slider now and driving it the other way. He's going with the pitch. If it's a fastball in, he's swinging a little earlier and turning on it. If it's a slider away, he's waiting back and hitting it the other way. And to emphasize this point, he's hitting the ball opposite field 10% more often than before he ate the chicken parmesan and fixed his swing. That is massive right there. Hitting the ball opposite field, just going with the pitch, it's leading to better results. He's striking out less, putting the ball in play more, hitting the ball harder. He has been amazing, and I think it is going to stay. I don't think he's going to have an OPS over 1,000 for the rest of the season, but remember, he was one of the best prospects in baseball. He was a consensus top 10 prospect when the Yankees called him up. He just hasn't been doing well, but he has all of the talent in the world. He's likely needed these games to help build that confidence. Because when you're struggling as the starting shortstop for the New York Yankees, I cannot imagine the amount of pressure that you must feel. So, I think that we're not going to see an OPS over 1,000 from Volpe on the season, but the changes are real. Standing closer to the plate is allowing him to be a much much better ball player. It's going to allow him to build that confidence to be better overall. So I think, yes, Anthony Volpe is legit. He has found his swing and he is going to rake for the Yankees for the rest of the season and for years to come.